G'day, Keith Conlon. In the About Time History Festival, this is my King William Street walk for History SA. And where else to start but the 1866 Town Hall. Looked a bit lonely back then, didn't it? But it was the first of a string of pearls, prominent buildings along King William Street, designed by a young architect, Edmund Wright. From a carving of Queen Victoria on the Town Hall up to Victoria Square to celebrate the second Edmund Wright building, the GPO, with its Victoria Tower. From the 1870s, that tower gave photographers a beautiful view of our main thoroughfare, King William Street. The GPO was much more modest before that, but as this picture from the History SA collection shows, from Victoria Square, the Treasury building on the other side loomed large, and the garden courtyard, well, it was looked after by Mr Milton, so they called it Milton's Paradise. Now north along King William Street, past the Art Deco Bank, they called the Radio Cabinet when it first went up, to celebrate another Edmund Wright classic, the building that was saved from demolition at the 11th hour in 1971. We call it Edmund Wright House. On the corner of Hindley Street, the Grand CML building is undergoing a big makeover. It's about to become a hotel. My brekkie mate Jane Riley was on the tour and like most of us, she loves the Beehive Corner building with its gothic features, usually saved for churches. On the other side of Rundle Mall entrance, it's more modest, but the Waterhouse building is a relic of the 1850s, built with huge profits made by shopkeeper Mr T.G. Waterhouse, who invested in the giant Borough Copper Mine. There it is on the left again, and in a later picture, our first skyscraper, the TNG. That's a hotel now too. On the King William Street North Terrace corner is where the handsome cabs used to line up. Government House in the background, and now, of course, in the foreground, the handsome old Bank of New South Wales building. Its refurbishment has just begun too. Will it have a sky bar on the top? Plenty of stories to tell, and the one about Parliament House is a beauty. It's another Edmund Wright design. No wonder he was called the Christopher Wren of Adelaide. But did you know it was built in two halves, 50 years apart? Official team photograph, thanks to all who joined me on the About Time Festival King William Street Tour and thanks to History SA for inviting me to do it and providing those marvellous heritage photos. Next time, maybe a bus tour.